I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I'm reacting to a bunch of things. But first, I'm reacting to The Stupendium's Halloween Spooktacular, which may end up being just a Patreon exclusive. I'm not sure. Don't know as I'm recording this. We'll find out wherever it ends up. If this is your first time here, yes, I am a comedy musician and I react exclusively to comedy music. That's where my field of expertise lies. What this means for you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I can pause to... Uh, not laugh over or talk over the jokes and miss them. This way I can talk about how the lyrics and video work in tandem to help enhance the comedy. Sometimes I give analysis, sometimes I just give a summary, and sometimes I'm explaining jokes because that's always fun for people, and sometimes I'm just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're gonna get, but I think it's a good time. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. But anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive into this. Stupendium was kind enough to send this to me early so that I could react to it. Uh, I am still dealing with surgery recovery, uh, so I haven't done any videos lately. Uh, it's hard to laugh when the lower abdomen is in pain, so, uh, but luckily I'm feeling pretty good today, and I'm filming this the day that it actually comes out, uh, so trying to get this done before they release it. Uh, and we'll see if this winds up on Patreon or if this goes up on the main channel, uh, because Stupendium told me, it's not really funny, it's just weird. I like weird. Um, we'll see how weird, and decide where it goes from there. Cool. <clears throat> anyway, the Stupendium Halloween Spooktacular. Uh, the description of which, uh, in the version that I was sent, just says, Hi, Ian. Thanks. Alright. Where can you find the English channel? On cable? <laughs> I, this is something that Stoops has done before, is using clips of other programs in the intro. Uh, I, I feel like the, the Backrooms song did that, and I, I feel like clips of, of other programs that they didn't film themselves uh, was used in maybe one of the Little Nightmares songs, maybe. Um, but yeah, I appreciate culling the archives for uh, things to help kind of set the mood for what's going on in the video. Oh no, stupendium SPC stuff. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Who gets a free pumpkin with a kid's meal, by the way? That's a, that's a lot. Um, it's reminding me a little bit of the WNUF Halloween special. Uh, which, if you haven't seen it, that's the name of a Halloween movie that it was filmed to emulate a television channel's Halloween special. It's actually done by uh, uh, a friend of mine in Baltimore, Chris LaMartina, and a, a bunch of other Baltimore friends helped work on it and produce it. Jimmy George, a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, filmed in Baltimore, they actually did a sequel to uh, the uh, the out there Halloween tape, I think is the name of the sequel. But, uh, yeah, uh, if, if you've not seen it, check it out. Worth it. Uh, really kind of helps capture kind of the feel of this was made for television and has, like, fake commercials with it and everything, too. Very cool. Obviously, the opening of this is reminding me of that because it's all the different footage of things. 
Rate you to subscribe. Only Duffy the Pumpkin. <laughs> Participating in these old fashioned hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Like, the mix of footage from a pre-existing things and then Stoops putting themselves into things. Like, I'm pretty sure that was Stupendium. It looked like Stupendium. The mustache was shaved off, so, so you know. But it also looked like they were trying to emulate freaking Tim Curry in that... I don't know what that thing is that uh, that that's from that Tim Curry is in like in a vampire outfit or whatever. Uh, I'm sure people in the comments will tell me, but I feel like that was what was trying to be emulated there. Uh, the song hasn't even started. We're we're 50 seconds in. I've paused five times, uh, and I'm already loving this. But this is par for the course on this type of thing for me. Yeah. Two-point landing. It's great to be here with you young witches on this fabulous night. <laughs> Remember, girls, show the world. Let them know it's Halloween. That's a stellar Tim Curry impression. It's, it's stellar. I'm... Yeah, and clearly, like, the composition... The, the the comping of the shot it looks fantastic but I do believe they are green screened into this uh, footage it, like isn't it like the worst witch or something like that or, or the name of some movie it's some kids movie about witches Tim Curry's in it I think he sings uh, I, I don't know if it's the worst witch or something else but uh, yeah I know it's a Halloween thing clips of it pop up all year round not just around Halloween but uh, I think that's what's being emulated here. I wouldn't change places with anyone tonight. We'll carve pumpkin faces and watch the witches fly. I have to keep stopping because I, I don't want to miss anything in the song, but this st stupendium told me this isn't very, this isn't really, I, I wouldn't categorize it as funny. I would categorize it as weird. And I wouldn't really categorize this as weird so much as just very niche. You know, it is, it is specifically set up for people who are, you know, remembering these types of specials or these types of of kids movies um and in that of itself i still find that to be comedic I, you know sometimes comedy isn't broad sometimes it's going to hit a very specific demographic and that is perfectly fine um it does limit the scope of comedy sometimes but for people who know this type of thing this is really going to hit their funny bone um uh, like I said, I'm not super familiar with the particular special that I feel is being emulated here, but I think I've seen enough clips of it that I get the reference and therefore is funny to me. Um, but yeah, uh, this is this is clearly referencing things, but also kind of making it own it's it its own. This song in particular, when now that the song has finally started a minute and a half into the video, um, uh, you know it it's it's. It's referencing something while being something of its own. Yeah, it took me a long while to say a silly short thing. What happens in these videos? Every human heart will shudder. <laughs> Every soul will shake with fear. Tonight, the creepiest Tonight, the scariest. Tonight, the most wonderful night. 
<laughs> Hold out that note. <laughs> I I love shit like that. I the most wonderful night. You just like holding it as long as you can and then just hitting that last syllable t at the very end. They did it longer than I could right now. I, I just woke up. My voice is non-existent currently. Um, let's take it back a little bit because I want to hear that moment again. It's very funny. Um, this is very theatrical. This is very overtly... Uh, the way they did songs in musicals for kids in videos. It's very of an era, it's very of a of a specific style. And if you recognize that style, you're gonna get enjoyment from that. And that's I'm I because I recognize it, I'm getting enjoyment from that. I, I dig this a lot. <laughs> it just cracks me up. Night just it's it's so simple it's such an easy thing and it makes me laugh i get i dig it i dig it uh, oh <laughs> the yeah. i mean <laughs> like he's he's they've said three words since i paused it last of the year uh, but the way they milked those lines just to drag it out there's it comedy isn't just the words that you say comedy isn't just in uh, you know here's a joke it's in delivery too Sometimes you can make the most banal things comedic by the way that you deliver them. Um, the essence of comedy is, you know, it's it's joke and delivery. You know, you work those two things together. You can, some people can tell a joke, and they can tell the joke terribly. The joke can be funny, but if the delivery isn't up to par, the joke falls flat. Uh, and sometimes... Uh, in acting or in performance, you can perform words in a certain way that on the written page in, of in and of themselves isn't funny, but if you deliver them in a funny way, it makes them funny. Uh, as an actor myself, uh, I sometimes get credited for finding comedic moments in dialogue that is not comedic. Uh, when doing cold readings and stuff like that in, uh, in auditions. Uh, so I have an appreciation for that, finding the comedic moment in moments that aren't comedic uh, and bringing comedy out of something that on the page in itself is not comedy. Milking these lines, dragging them out, saying something simple about it's the spookiest time of the year, and just, but the way you drag it out, holding these notes longer than your breath is able to, so you hear it, creak out of you uh, makes the delivery funny of a line that in of itself isn't a funny line. Yes, I basically went around in circles and repeated myself. I do that a lot here, but uh, funny to me. Um, I'm going to take it back again, so let's, let's relive all of that again. I just went back not far enough. The word of goes O of and holds a two letter word that when you say the word of takes less than a second and held it for several seconds just unnecessarily it's beautiful it's i i love it i love the theatricality of it spinning with that cape that cloak 
uh, it, this, there is something so deliciously 80s about this. Christmas time brings the snow. Summer time brings the sun. <laughs> this is almost like it was written from that time. Like, I'm starting to wonder if this isn't just a cover of the song that Tim Curry does. Because I don't I don't think I've seen Tim Curry actually perform the song. I've just seen him in the outfit and doing the thing. Also, this is so, so specifically niche that I don't know if Stupendium's audience uh, as a whole are going to totally grasp what they're doing here. Um, uh, bravo to for, for going out and doing something so, like, I can see why they described it as weird, because it's not their normal fare. Uh, it's not what they usually do on their channel. Um, back in the day when the channel started, Stoops did quite a few covers of Broadway show tunes and, and songs from musicals and such. Um, I don't know if this specifically is a cover or not. Um, I'm going to my Google machine. You're gonna, this is gonna happen live in the video here. Uh, 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 Tim Curry Halloween. It is from The Worst Witch. Okay, yeah. Um, this outfit, this outfit right here, it is Tim Curry. And it's, it's the same outfit Stupendium is wearing. Uh, uh it's... It, The song is Anything Can Happen on Halloween. Uh, I, think, I think this may be just Stupendium covering it. Hang on a second. A song by Lex Land. Uh, Anything Can Happen on Halloween lyrics. This is a cover. Uh, I've, I, I said before The Worst Witch, and I wasn't sure if that was correct. I looked it up. It is absolutely from The Worst Witch. This is just Stupendium covering Tim Curry's song, Anything Can Happen at Halloween for their Halloween spooktacular. Uh, <laughs> which means that Stoops is emulating the delivery Tim Curry does. Um, I said before, uh, in the spoken bit before the song, when they were standing with the cape kind of green screened into the shot from the movie, um, that it was a great Tim Curry impression, and now knowing that the song has itself been, you know, a cover, um, some of the delivery may be emulating what Tim Curry does as well. This is fantastic. This right here is so niche and so specific of a thing to cover. Uh, it just shows how much Stupendium loves this particular pop culture thing. Um, and as a fan of pop culture things myself, again, something I had never seen before in my life, but I recognized through pop culture osmosis, because that's what I have. Uh, this is just a phenomenal idea to do. Will it land with everybody? I'm not sure. But those who do know will love this. Um... This is fantastic. Okay. <laughs> but on Halloween, your blood begins to run. 
something spooky is going down. And the things that are happening on me Halloween. It's better than a video. I have to wonder if the visuals themselves are the exact same as they are in The Worst Witch. Like, with... They're clearly not wearing a green outfit. Things are being projected on and comped in onto the cape, where, you know, the dog turns into the cat, and the blood on the chest. Um... 80s style. There's a whole VHS filter on this. It's done in the standard square VHS uh, screen format. Um, so I, I wonder if the, if, the, if the comping of effects is done the same way in the original. Again, haven't seen the original. Uh, but because of the way that it's being done specifically in this format makes me think, oh, we're not just covering it. We're just recreating the whole thing. Um, which knowing Stupendium, would have put past them. Uh, so, yeah. Wonderful. Gremlins got a mess up every cassette from London to Idaho. Hey, <laughs> Christmas can be fun. New Year's Eve is a ball. But on Halloween, the flesh begins to brawl. Oh, a lot of streamers. Halloween. There's a lot of eyebrow acting happening. Uh, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of eyebrow acting happening, and and there's a little bit of a of a Elvis esque lip curl um, that is both uh, Tim Curry esque, but also I think just it seems like it fits this kind of thing. <laughs> I, if you know what I mean, like it just there, everything is yes, it's done purposely and a cover and possibly an impression. But at the same time, I don't think this song could be performed any other way. You can't perform this song straight. You can't do a straight cover of this song without trying to emulate the way that it it had been. I believe you know just judging from its own pop cult its own place in pop culture as being a weird song that Tim Curry sings in the middle of a kids movie uh yeah no this is everything about this seems so very purposeful so very lovingly recreated from the original um this this is a passion project more than anything uh, this, this is not meant to get, uh, the standard views that a Stupendium video would get. I don't feel. Uh, I, I, I feel this is just done because Stupendium wanted to do this. And, uh, I 1000% respect that. <laughs> There's no long and your hair turns green Your teacher could become a sardine Your dentist could turn into a queen Has anybody... How, how progressive these lyrics were uh, back in the 80s, how, how we didn't know. Uh, <laughs> also, it's, it's, a, it's a kid song, so it's kind of meant to be funny for kids. You know, your teacher could turn into a sardine. Uh, you know, just... Yeah, your teacher could become a sardine. There's just it's it's so simplistic in its in its writing, you know. It's meant for kids, I guess, of of that era and that age. My ex-wife loved this movie. She talked about the worst witch all the time. We never actually watched it together, but she did mention seeing it quite often. Um, uh, and it was it was never something that was on my radar or or something that I had ever seen. I was I was uh, a, a little bit older than her when we were together. I mean, I'm still older than her now. Age doesn't change when you divorce people. But, uh, you know, I was five years older than her, so I kind of missed this when it came out. It wasn't out when I was, you know, uh, watching kid stuff at that time. But, uh, yeah, she had a, a real affinity for, for this movie in particular. Uh, so I, it's, you know, it's kind of where I kind of heard from it heard of it at least but uh 
yeah, this is clearly meant for, you know, it's it's written for a kid's movie, so the lyrics are a little a little juvenile in their rhyme scheme, but it's still funny. It's still meant to be funny for, for kids or for people who are like, yeah, I, I can have an appreciation for the weirdness of a teacher turning into a sardine. And also, of course, the... The, the progressiveness of your your dentist becoming a queen. Um, <laughs> definitions of things change somewhat. Uh, so, so <laughs> queen could mean multiple things in this instance. Has anybody seen my tambourine? Out of nowhere. I may start playing Bugin the Bugin, the craziest night you've ever seen. This hairy, scary, creepy, crawling. It really is such a Tim Curry impression, just by the way, hairy, not, not hairy. Hairy, scary, creepy, cro it just it, there's something about the way Tim Curry puts the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllables. Uh, he <laughs> just in Clue. Clue is one of my favorite movies, and Tim Curry's performance in that movie is incredible. But he can say one word. It is a one-syllable word. And he can just make that word his own just by the way he pronounces it. When he says no, the word is no, no. It, it, it has so many layers and, and you, you can see the shape of the words when he says it in the way that he says it. Um, so getting that with the, the ends of the words here in this section, this is, this is a, a love for this song, A Love for Tim Curry. <laughs> Amazing. And of course, these are being clips from the actual movie. That's... Randomly saw some clips from some Boglins there, that's great. <laughs> a fantastically awful song. I don't know if it's awful. It, that depends on, on your perspective. Some people might say that, it, that it's awful. Yes, original song by Tim Curry, written by Charles Strauss and Don Black. When I looked it up, it said it was by Lex something, which may have been the name of the character that that Tim Curry plays. But yes, saying in the end here, specifically, it is a recreation produced by Freest. Bravo, Freest on the production there. This is ridiculous. And as you can see in this, in this paused shot, recreating the movements and the backgrounds did an absolute one-to-one -one recreation of the scene from the movie. Stupendium. Bravo. Bravo. This is phenomenal. A horrifyingly bad 1980s TV movie. But stick around for more signature songs in a scarily spooky edition of the Stupendium Playlist Show. Then at 10, you can call to an engagement at Brother Manor with the like and subscribe Halloween special. <laughs> <laughs> the way they do their outros in character... So this outro is being done as if it you're watching it on TV and it's the announcer announcing the next upcoming thing. The thing that's coming up next on the channel. And the, the, the like and subscribe Halloween special. And just, ah, uh, man. Like, you look showmanship up in the dictionary and you see a picture of Stupendium. Yeah. Eleven, the bell tolls for three new contestants as they compete for updates on new videos in this week's chilling installment of Ring That Bell. <laughs> and there's terrifyingly good... Like, like, nobody else does the call to action in such a creative way than the stupendium. I mean, it's all, all it's, it's your standard stuff, like subscribe, ring the bell, etc. But they're doing it in character in the universe of the video and just making it 
Oh, it's so unique and it's so fantastic. Infomercial programming of the Stupendium Store. Oh, Mr. Boogity. Oh my goodness, that's a that's another horrible Disney movie. Uh, I, I've had many friends talk about that one. Uh, ignore what's up on the screen. That's another thing I'm reacting to later. Uh, boy, I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, I hope you guys did too. Uh, if you did, please go show Stupendium some love. A uh, link to the original video is in the description box below. If you did like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. I'm not as creative, obviously. Also, it's just a reaction and I'm not doing anything in-universe. I also feel a sneeze coming, sorry. Uh, anyway, if you do want to help the channel out more, like these people over here do, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, that's all for today. We've got more videos coming this week. We'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Good morning.